Gathered here are the supplies for the wet lab cream we will be compounding. We will need large, medium, and small weigh boats, your glass mortar and pestle, some ointment paper and tape to tape it to the counter, a 3ml slip tip syringe, and small, large spatulas, and finally, an ointment jar, one ounce. Urea comes in a crystalline powder, and when you make a cream, you want your powders as fine as possible before you incorporate those into the cream. So retrieve some urea from the supply station and place this powder into your mortar. You will now want to triturate it with the pestle until it's a fine as powder as possible. Now, you want to go ahead and weigh the required amount in your prescription. So tear with a medium-sized weigh boat and weigh the required amount of fine powder. Return the excess powder to the supply station. To get our triamcinolone active ingredient, we're using a commercially available 0.1% cream. So go ahead and put a weigh boat on your scale, tear it, and weigh the required amount of 0.1% cream required for the prescription. Since you do not know how much levigating you're going to need the first time you make a cream or ointment, go ahead and draw excess into our syringe. Today we're using a 3 ml syringe, so draw 3 ml of glycerin, getting rid of all the air bubbles so that you can measure the levigating agent accurately. I now have three mLs of glycerin in my syringe ready to use in my procedure. Retrieve some ointment paper and some tape from the supply station and place it on your counter for a work surface. Go ahead and use four pieces of tape at each corner, placed diagonally, to tape down the ointment paper. We are now going to levigate our urea powder with our glycerin on our ointment paper. So place the powder onto your ointment paper and put a small divot in the center and start adding small amounts of the glycerin. So a half a mil at a time would be fine. And then use your spatula to levigate the powder. What you're looking for is for the powder to be completely wet by the glycerin. So when you start seeing just dry powder flake off, go ahead, ahead and add some additional glycerin. You can gather in the paste you're making by using the flat side of the spatula. What you want is a thick paste, but you don't want any dry powder left that hasn't been wet. I think we're at a good stopping place. At this stage of the procedure, you need to go ahead and examine the glycerin syringe 
and calculate the volume you used during the levigation step. After you've determined the volume of glycerin used, you can determine the weight based on the specific gravity. You can now calculate the amount of aquaphilic required for the prescription. Weigh the required amount of aquaphilic. Put a large weigh boat on your scale. and weigh the required amount. All right, so as a reminder on our ointment paper, we have the levigated urea paste that we levigated with the glycerin. Here is my triamcinolone cream that we weighed earlier, as well as my aquaphilic that we just weighed. All right, the first step will be to go ahead and place our triamcinolone next to the urea and incorporate these together using spatulation until they're uniform. Keep moving it back together as the cream starts to try to get away from you on the ointment paper. At this stage you can incorporate your large spatula to pull that together and a large spatula will actually spatulate that quicker as well. Okay, once you're satisfied that those are uniformly mixed, go ahead, scrape that back together in a location, and we're going to go ahead and place our aquaphilic near our triamcinolone urea cream. Now we want to geometrically mix the aquaphilic into our urea triamcinolone. So take about an equal amount and then you're going to use that to mix it together uniformly. And take another swipe and go ahead and use that. As your cream gets larger, the larger spatula will be a little easier to go ahead and use it to mix. Go ahead and pull the rest of it in. And now it's just a matter of making sure that current cream is uniform throughout and your active ingredients are uniformly mixed. Pull them together one final time. Once you think it's uniformly mixed, you can stop the spatulation procedure. We now want to go ahead and place 30 grams of our cream inside our ointment jar. So go ahead and place on your scale the empty ointment jar and tear the scale. Go ahead and start scooping, tapping after each addition. and placing it on the scale to check for the correct weight. Once you're at the correct weight, go ahead and record this weight in your QA documentation. All right, you need a clean spatula in order to dress your cream. So go ahead and wipe the excess off. And you want to go ahead and push the cream down from the sides.
and hold your spatula at about a 45 or even a little larger angle so that when you turn the ointment jar, it smooths out the top of the cream. All right, using another paper towel, go ahead and clean off the outside of your ointment jar, ensuring there's no cream around the threads or the body of the ointment jar. And then using a tip, go ahead and just clean out any excess that rode along the top. Your final check is to put your lid onto your ointment jar and check and make sure that no cream remains on the top of the ointment jar. Your cream is now ready to be dispensed.